Hello, hello, everybody. It is I, Solmas218. Welcome to the stream. It's Friday night, so I need to get back to my backlog, and that means going way back to, um, four months ago? Oops. I was near the end of Read Only Memories Neurodiver, and, uh, life got busy, and it just kind of got pushed to the side, and, uh, I think we need to get back and finish that. So that's what we're going to do tonight. Welcome back to Read Only Memories Neurodiver. Um, if anybody remembers where we left off, good for you. You have a great memory. Um, I'll try and give the quickest recap possible. Main character of this game is named ES88 or Luna Vega de la Cruz. She is a Esper or psychic who uses. Uh, her partner, a neurodiver, which is a little squid-like organism, uh, to read into the memories of different individuals and find corruptions or ways that their memories have been manipulated by outside sources and fix their memories. Um, we've gone through the game working for a company called Minerva, who uh, developed us uh, biologically, it seems, as well as the neurodiver. And we've been investigating uh, the memory crimes of some sort of entity known as Golden Butterfly. And we've been tracking Golden Butterfly through the memories of numerous individuals. Uh, and we're at the point where Golden Butterfly has taken quite an interest in us and is now infiltrating our own perception of reality. And that's left us up into the final chapter or two of the game, wherever we're at. I know we're near the end. But we left off here in the Minerva lobby at the beginning of what I was presuming is one of the final chapters. We have a partner named Gate as well, who is an mil ex-military robot. May or may not be romantically interested in us. Hi, let's, hon. let's talk Do to Lucy. Help with anything? Um, I don't know. Do uh, I? No. Thank you. You looked different, that's all. Yeah, what's up with Lucy's face? I can change my LED screen to a more palatable face if you want, but it'll take some time. Please do so, it's creepy. The last time I changed my looks? Wow, Fortuna was not happy about it. She's very into the professional look, which I understand because I... I gotta go, Lucy, but I'll talk to you later. <laughs> oh, sure, hon. See you soon. Alright, so we've made note of Lucy acting strangely. When we left off before, we made note of Gate acting strangely. In the elevator down here to the lobby from our room. Um, let's go talk to uh, some more people. Uh, is Harold here? Harold, are you being normal? Boo! Oh, definitely not. Ah! <laughs> How did you like my Halloween trick? Harold, where did you get that mask? Yeah, where'd you get the mask? It looks like um, Golden Butterfly. Oh, this one. <laughs> I made it myself. Do you like it? It looks very familiar. <laughs> Probably just my imagination. Where did he find a mask that looks just like Golden? Have you seen Trace? Yeah, she's in her lab. She wasn't in the mood to play horror trivia. Said something about being too busy. I'm sure you can find someone else to play with you. Thanks, Harold. Have a scary day. Okay, that's enough out of Harold. Had to click on the bowl. Is there anything with a jack-o'-lantern? 
Okay. That should be everything with Harold. Uh, let's get out of here. Let's go visit Trace. I'm so happy to see you, Trace. Oh, something's wrong with me. What are you saying? What happened? These golden assignments? I think they're doing something to my mind. What? What do you mean? Do you know what happens when I expel Golden? No, I don't. I'm sorry. Though, it might have something to do with psychic waves. Psychic waves? Psychic waves? If they have a very powerful psychic energy, it's possible for them to move it to you. Is that why I'm having these weird dreams? I wouldn't jump to conclusions, ES-88. Is Golden inside my head? Golden is everywhere you look. Everything you are. He will consume everything until you are nothing. Trace? What? I said Golden is nothing to worry about. Not when you have the Neurodiver to help. Sure you did. Is he single? Yes. <laughs> oh, I thought you said... Never mind. Okay. It sounds like you need to see Fortuna. No, I can't go see her. She'll be so disappointed with me. She'll take me off the job. Not true. If anyone can talk you out of this, it's her. Are you sure? Claro que sí. Now go. She's probably waiting for you. I'll stay down here with Trace. Okay. Um, it's the other side, isn't it? There it is. I was like, where's the dang exit? I couldn't remember. Oh, up here. Let's go. A lonely elevator ride. We don't have gate with us. I don't like it. S88. What are you doing here? We don't have a meeting scheduled. I need to talk to you about something that happened. It's a bit impromptu, but sure. Talk to me. Well, I think Golden might be... Oh? Haunting you how? I don't know. It started as weird dreams, but now I think I'm hearing things. I'm almost positive it's Golden manipulating me or, or taunting me or... or... something. Oh, ES-88. I don't think you're being haunted. You're probably stressed. And your mind is just trying to catch up. <laughs> Pearl, thank you for redeeming last surprise. I, I'll get to that when I finish. I'm sure I, I'll be finishing the game within uh, probably an hour. Processing it feels like I'm at the end. Going through lately. Right. 
Gates said the same thing about my dreams earlier, but... Yeah, I'll never see it coming. Just like, I, I really, I don't see where this game, I don't see where the, the, the reveal is coming from. Like, is Golden, you know, Fortuna? Yes, 88. Your powers are beginning to blossom within you. Like, is this normal what we're seeing, or is this just Golden messing with us? Huh? Finally! Yes, 88. You're becoming the magical girl you always wanted to be. Aren't you excited? Wait a minute. What's happening? Magical Commander Luna. Your instincts, rules, and reasons are just. Fortuna? Wait, no! Golden! Let us fly forward into the event horizon. Oh, oh no. H hold on, I, I can fix this. Oh, well, if we're not in neurodiver mode, I guess use the neurodiver. And also, um, I don't know, the mask and the the figurine. It's not working. I must have missed something earlier. It's not. What if it's just them acting weird? Yeah. Neurodiver. Where am I? I'm so sleepy. I guess I'm just gonna recover in here. It's kinda small. I hope I'm not in here too long. I can't wait to get to work. Is that Fortuna? Hi, Fortuna! Oh, I can't really move at all. I guess this is part of the process. You're the beginning of something special. I know it. Sit tight. I will, Fortuna. Oh, this is taking forever. How long have I been in here? I feel fine. Why can't I get out yet? I'm guessing this is Luna when she was a child. Fortuna? Anyone? Maybe. And this is where you'll be working. Wait, who is that? Wow, my own desk! Thank you so much, Miss Fortuna! Yes. That voice... No... No, 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 no! This can't be happening! Don't thank me. This is the result of your hard work. And just call me Fortuna. The miss is unnecessary. Oh, right. I can't wait to get started. I feel like a new me. I've never felt so in tune with my abilities before. But... I'm me. I'm still in here. Oh, has Golden taken over our body? Fortuna, that's not me! I'm right here! I wonder what kind of super ultra-secret Esper missions I'm gonna get. I'll train extra hard so one day I can match your abilities, Fortuna. I won't let you down. <laughs> Calm down. You'll receive your first assignment soon enough. I'm glad everything worked out as well as it did. Enjoy the new space, Luna. Or rather, 
Esper 8801. I do. I really love it. It feels like home. That's not me! That's not me! Fortuna! Let me out! That's not me! Please! I have to get back to my office, but feel free to walk around and get to know your co-workers. You can find Trace in the lab and Gate, who you'll be working closely with, is around here somewhere. Oh no. Golden, I, I didn't know. Oh, oh Luna. Don't, don't worry, worry, I don't, don't think they knew either. But before you make any attempt at an apology, I should be thanking you. For this, I mean. I'm finally beginning to feel whole again. So, thank you, Luna. Is this from... Lexi's memories? The Golden Rail. Is this the train we were on earlier? Yes. how we found our way back to each other. Having fun with this hero act, magical girl? Why did you bring me back here? <laughs> how should I know? It's your head. Or I guess my head now. Our head? My head. At least I hope it is. <laughs> it is very hard to tell. In any case, we've been apart for quite some time now. Tell me, how did you feel when you finally received your official Minerva Agent badge? Uh... Well, I... No, 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 wait! Don't tell me yet! Let me feel it. Hey, wait! Oh. They're gone. Wait, is that... Oh, so that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Below Tomcat's place. Why here? Why are you making me revisit these memories? They're not even mine. <laughs> what are you talking about? Of course they're yours! Did you forget the assignment you've been working on? How irresponsible! I didn't! I was assigned to expel you and repair the memories you fragmented. Well, you're certainly doing a bad job with all of it. In fact, you're alarmingly bad at your job. Even when I gave you exactly what you needed to complete your mission, you just threw it away. If I erased those memories, I wouldn't be any better than you. No, you're already worse. Selfishly playing this role of the heroic, magical girl. Living a life I should be living. Parading around with that... What is it called again? Neurodiver.
My abilities far outshine what you can do with yourself and that thing. I deserve to live outside of people's memories. Please, just let me go. I don't want to play this game anymore. Oh, I need to wake up. Maybe if I try something different. What did Trace do when she was having a waking nightmare? Math? Oh, let's see. One plus one is two. No, too easy. 128 divided by eight is... I'm sorry, but this isn't a dream, you know. No, no, no. Just let me wake up. Our being apart feels like both an eternity. And during that time, all I could think about was finally meeting you. But now that we're here, there's just not much to say. I can feel every question boil up inside you. And to be honest, I don't have the answers. And I don't think my neighbor does either. All I know is, I want my body back. I want to feel warmth again. To be more than a ghost in a memory. But... Maybe we can both live in the real world. Share this body just like before. Why does it have to be one or nothing? Luna, your optimism hurts. We are not in your fantasy world anymore. Stop living this fantasy. And let me feel the warmth of the world again. This is it. Golden must be through the balcony. and personal now. Golden? <laughs> you look... It shouldn't be a surprise. The longer I'm with you, the more I feel whole again. All I need... is my body back. We don't have to fight each other like this. I had no control over myself. All I wanted to do was harness my abilities and help people. Then show me how much you've grown. Ah! There you are. Hey, what is this? What did you do to me? We've been apart for so long. Prove to me that what you truly believe and stand for is right and just. Prove to me. You deserve this world. You've only shown that you're nothing more than a little soldier for Fortuna. For Minerva. They pulled me out, attached your strings, and tucked them when they needed to. That 
It's not true. I had a choice. There was never a time where I felt obligated to stay and be a Minerva agent. And I chose to stay, not because of anything anyone did. been my own, no one else's. The work I do, the job I have, the actions I take. I suppose it is true that you're carving your own path. Moving forward without any regard for responsibility. You still feared getting scalded, though. I wonder if you would still stand strong. If the situation was more dire... I did what I thought was responsible, and I would do it again, even if it meant being fired from Minerva. I helped people and repaired the mines you fragmented. And I wasn't about to stoop to your level by erasing a part of someone's memories. You're attempting to live out a fantasy. Cosplaying as a magical girl? Shouting out catchphrases with reckless abandon? You could be the magical girl you always strived for. If you let me take over. Live out every episode of Magical Commander with you as the star. <laughs> but this is reality! People like the magical commander Yukino don't exist. I am a psychic agent that repairs mines with a cyborg partner and a squishy sidekick. And I'm fighting a silly psychic ghost who haunts people's memories. Magical Commander Yukino was my rock for the longest time. Our rock. You should know that. She's always been there for me, pulling me through my hardest times. And keeping me smiling through my best times. I hope someday I can help people like she helped me. Everything I've learned. Everything I've done has only made me stronger. But you still require the crutch of Minerva's tools. That Neurodiver, for instance. Needing support and asking for help isn't a weakness. And the Neurodiver isn't just a tool, it's my partner. Just like Gate. And just like Trace. You really have grown so much since we separated. That's right, and I don't plan on stopping. Your wings are beginning to spread. Let's see if you will fly. But first... <laughs> your catchphrase. My... What? Oh! Um... Through my golden eyes, I witness the past. I see the present. And only I, Luna Cruz de la Vega, can choose the infinite potential of my future! It's over, Golden. I can't sustain my consciousness without a body. But I can live on in memories. Continuing to fragment them to survive? Fragments don't happen on purpose. I'm not compatible with them. 
Simply existing is like a shock to the system. So I have to jump to another eventually. So what happens now? I can only live in the moment of the memories I occupy while it's a taste of reality. It's not really helping me. And it's hurting others. Right. But I was scared, Luna. When I saw you, I lost my sense of time and self. I missed seeing my... <laughs> our parents. I missed the feeling of the sun. So I did what I could to survive and hope I could see and feel those things again. I don't want to go back to the tank. I don't. I thought maybe I could take this body back, but... Maybe there's a way for us to share this body. What? Think about it. You keep saying only one of us can survive, but we were one person for 16 years. Luna. We could fuse. Like in the Zodiac Master's Arc of Magical Commander. Polestar and Castar were cosmic twins born separately from each other. But when they fused to fight alongside Yukino, they shared their memories and experiences, forming the ever-powerful Gemini. Luna, your optimism is increasingly frustrating. But at this moment, I appreciate it. It's a risk, but maybe we're like Gemini. I just tried to take over your body. You freed yourself. Aren't you afraid I might try and do it again? Yeah, I'm aware of that possibility, but... You said it yourself, you can't survive without a host. Who would I be if I let someone die? I'm supposed to help people. It was hard to control my abilities when I was younger. I was scared. But I've learned more about myself. I've had time to reflect on my abilities. I think we can handle this. Thank you, Luna. Golden, let's feel the warmth of the world and fly together. Luna? Oh, Luna. Are you okay? Fortuna? Uh, my body hurts. No. Don't move. But your face. Are you okay? Ugh. I'll be fine. I attempted to dive and pull you out of your sleep, but something pulled back. Hard. It's hard to explain what I felt. It was like something bright and fluttering. And then suddenly, I was kicked out. But enough about me. I was so worried about you. Oh, I think... I'm just happy to be awake. I, I am really awake, right? As far as I can tell, yes. Have you tried to pinch yourself? Good idea. Uh... Ow! Okay, definitely awake. What happened? Where did you go? Fortuna, I was right! I was being haunted. I was stuck in a dream. 
haunted. ES-88, what are you talking about? Oh, that's right. I only told you in my dream. And then you said... Focus, ES-88. Hey, Hermanator. Right. Golden. I guess every time I repaired a memory Golden was in, they were absorbed back into me. I was having really vivid dreams and... ES-88. Vivid dreams might just be... No, don't even say it! Sorry, I know what you're about to say, but this was different. Go on. After my last assignment, Golden built up enough strength to keep me in my head. And then... They pulled my soul... Out, I guess? Soul? I, I don't know. It, it looked like a butterfly. It felt sharp when they pulled it out of me like a poke from a needle. And the only way I could get it out was to get it back from them. Are they still here? Well... Sorta. What do you mean? I think we found a way for both of us to exist. In the same body. Luna, we have no idea what that could do to you. This could be extremely dangerous. I'm completely aware of the risk, but this is my choice. Of course it is. Fortuna. What is it? Why didn't you tell me about Golden? I did. I... No! I mean who Golden really was. Right. I thought I was making the right choice. When you came to me, you were so scared, so out of control. I thought maybe I could save you. Save me from what? From what's happening to me. These cracks on my face. Well, they look so cool. Yes. Thank you. But they're a symptom of a larger issue. Sometimes our abilities can suddenly decide to burn so bright, it turns us into a very short fuse. It took me so long to understand what was happening to me and how to contain my psychic energy. This visor helps, but I hurt a lot of people along the way, including myself. I never wanted that to happen to you. Fortuna, no matter what happens to me, I can handle it. I hope you can trust me. I know I can. And I'm sorry for ever doubting you. I hope you can forgive me. I forgive you. I don't know what I would do in your shoes. You're too kind, Luna. I'm just glad this is finally over. I can finally get back to helping people and... Whoa! Slow down. I appreciate the enthusiasm, but you are out for a long time. You need to rest. Take some time off. We've got things covered here. Now, Trace and Gate have been checking in on you every day. I think they're outside right now if you want to speak with them. Or do you want to rest some more? No, I've rested long enough. You can let them in. Great. I'll give you all some privacy. Luna! Gracias a Dios. I was so worried about you. <laughs> How are you feeling? Eh, could be better. Could be worse. That's right, Zinni. Get to meet up one more time with my girlfriends. Get the paso. Was it golden? Golden was actually me, and I just couldn't let him go in the end. So, golden is inside you? 
Are you sure that's a good idea? Trust me, I think we understand each other a lot better now. Besides, it wasn't Golden's fault we were separated. They deserve a chance. I trust that you know what you're doing. I'm just happy to see you're okay. I... I missed you. I... missed you too. to get you some food from the cafeteria. No, no, I'm fine. I, you've been out for days. You need some snacks. Besides, the cafeteria is a stocked with candy from Halloween. Finding a sweets would be a breeze. <clears throat> I'll be back. So... So... Did anything happen while I was out? <laughs> the Neurodiver missed you, I think. Oh, where are they? Down here. Look, I brought them in. Are they... sleeping? Am I? <laughs> Neurodiver! <laughs> I'm so happy to see you! <laughs> they tried to stay up and wait for you, but depleted their energy in the process. Oh, Nero Diver, I'm so sorry I scared you. You scared all of us. I really thought I... we... had lost you. Well, don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Fortuna said your levels looked great, and you're free to go whenever you want. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. There's that view I know and love. Wow, I didn't realize <laughs> how much dust <coughs> was in my room. <coughs> That's what happens when you don't move anything for months. So, have you been enjoying your days off? I think I want to take some time to travel. I have a bucket list of places I want to visit. I think you should go. What's first on your list? Well, Trace and I talked about visiting Mexico together. I'd have to check her schedule. That sounds exciting. So, how have you been feeling since you let Golden stay? I think we're getting along. I still feel them from time to time. And we mostly talk in my dreams. Are you ever afraid of them trying to take over again? No, not really. They feel more like a ghost. Or, I guess, a butterfly? A ghost butterfly? <laughs> it's a fluttering feeling, I guess. Hard to describe. Ah. Uh. I'm really happy where things are. I'm glad you feel closure. I do. I really do. All I can do is live in the moment and help those who need me. And I couldn't have done any of this without you. Thank you, Gay. Of course, Luna. Do you think... Never mind. What? Well, since you missed out on all the Halloween weekend festivities, I was wondering if you wanted to go out sometime. D to celebrate, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> well, then. I guess. It's a date! Cute!
This voice cast killed it. Like, the game was, like, almost entirely just clicking and listening to voice cast, so... I mean, they had to, but they absolutely killed it. Great game. Well, great interactive film. <laughs> much more so than the game before it, which had much more point-and-click adventure elements than this. Also, all the music in this game is absolute banger. Like, listen to this. This is great. The first game had a great soundtrack, too, but this one's also great. Yeah, the first game definitely had more point-and-click adventure elements to it. it had more gamey stuff, like you said. But I loved that game. Thank you for the GG, Servinator. Um... But I loved this one as well, because I also like visual novels, so this one was definitely on the further side of visual novel, where it's just story. It was a very good story, though. A little shorter than the first game, too, but that, that makes sense with it being, like, only story-based. Also gave some nice closure to some of the characters from the first game, which I liked. So cute! Right, that appears to be Neurodiver. <laughs> 